What if I told you that the AI image generation world just got completely turned upside down? While everyone was still obsessing over Google's viral nano banana that took the internet by storm, ByteDance quietly dropped a bombshell that's now sitting at number one on the leaderboards. Today, we're diving deep into Seadream 4.0, the AI model that just dethroned everyone's favorites. And trust me, the results are going to blow your mind. But first, let's rewind a bit. Just a few weeks ago, Google launched what the internet lovingly nicknamed Nano Banana, officially known as Gemini 2.5 Flash for image generation. This thing went absolutely viral. And for good reason, people were creating incredible 3D figurines, transforming simple prompts into stunning visuals, and sharing their creations all over social media. It felt like Google had cracked the code for consumer-friendly AI image generation. The timing seemed perfect for Google. They had momentum, user adoption was through the roof, and it looked like they were going to dominate this space. But here's where the story gets interesting. On September 9th, 2025, ByteDance's seed research team decided they weren't going to let Google have all the fun. They unveiled Seadream 4.0, and this wasn't just another incremental update. This was a full-scale challenge to Google's dominance. What makes this even more fascinating is that they're not just targeting casual users like Nano Banana does. They're going straight for the professional market. Now, let's talk numbers, because this is where things get really exciting. According to the latest artificial analysis text-to-image leaderboard, here's how these AI giants stack up. At the number one spot, we have ByteDance Seadream 4.0 with an ELO rating of 1,222. That's not just good, that's dominating the competition. Coming in at second place is Google's Imogen 4 Ultra Preview with 1,177 ELO, followed closely by third place, Google's Imogen 4 Preview at 1,173. Now, here's the kicker, our beloved Nano Banana officially known as Gemini 2.5 Flash, sits at fourth place with 1,169 ELO. Still impressive, but no longer the king of the hill. OpenAI's GPT-4.0 rounds out the top five at 1,165 ELO. And if we look further down, we see Flux.1 Context Max at seventh place with 1,137 ELO. What's really striking here is that ByteDance managed to leapfrog everyone, including multiple Google models, to claim that top spot. But here's the thing. Leaderboards and technical specs are one thing. But does Seadream 4.0 actually deliver in real-world scenarios? Because let's be honest, we've all seen AI tools that look amazing on paper, but fall short when you actually try to use them. So I'm not just going to show you Seadream 4.0. I'm going to test it with detailed prompts and different scenarios to see whether it's truly up to the mark or if this is just marketing hype. I've already put Seadream 4.0 through its paces with several prompts, and I have to say, the results are genuinely impressive. The quality and adherence to prompts are honestly insane. But don't just take my word for it. Let me show you exactly what I mean. First, Let's test that multi-reference capability I mentioned earlier. I've attached several reference images here. A shoe, a watch, some shirts, basically everything I want to see combined in a single image. I'll give it a prompt and boom. Look at this result. It combined everything effortlessly and the realism is just stunning. The way it maintains the style consistency across different product types while creating a cohesive composition, this is exactly what professional e-commerce teams need. Now, let's really push this thing with a complex product photography prompt. I'm going to test it with something that requires serious prompt adherence understanding. Here's my prompt for a luxury watch. Ultra high resolution product photography of a luxury Swiss automatic watch with exposed tourbillon movement. Shot on seamless white cyclorama with three point lighting setup. Key light, 45 degrees above with softbox. Fill light with umbrella reflector and rim light creating edge separation. You can pause the video to read the whole prompt if you want to try this yourself. And here's the output. Well, for me, it does an absolutely fantastic job. Look at these details and the realism. The lighting, the texture, the way it understood the technical photography terminology. This isn't just generating a watch image. 
it's actually implementing professional photography techniques. Here are some more images I generated using similar prompts. Look at them. It's genuinely impressive. Now here's another cool thing I tried, and it's working amazingly for me. If you're also a content creator and want good thumbnails for your YouTube videos or any content, I think Sea Dream is doing a pretty incredible job. Check this out. I tried generating some thumbnails for a space-related channel, and here are the results. To me personally, these are looking very professional. And it does this job within seconds. The composition, the colors, the way it creates that eye-catching appeal that you need for thumbnails. It understands the visual psychology behind what makes people click. Here are some more thumbnails I generated. Look at them. So, if you're a content creator or planning to start your channel, I think this might be the perfect time. With this tool, your thumbnail creation problem could be completely solved. No more spending hours in Photoshop or paying designers for every single thumbnail. And I have to emphasize this again. SeaDream 4.0 can generate 2K resolution images in just a few seconds. Watch this. I'm inputting a new prompt right now. And there it is. That speed isn't just convenient. It completely changes how you approach creative work. You can iterate, experiment, and refine your ideas in real time instead of waiting minutes for each generation. What ByteDance understood that others missed is the difference between viral appeal and professional utility. While Nano Banana captured hearts with its accessibility and social media appeal, SeaDream 4.0 built something for people who need to create at scale. We're talking about enterprise-grade architecture with mixture of experts implementation, support for up to 4K resolution, and the ability to generate up to nine consistent images simultaneously. For agencies, studios, and content creators working on series or campaigns, this is exactly what they've been waiting for. The technical sophistication here is remarkable. The model doesn't just process your prompt. It actually understands abstract concepts and user intentions. It can maintain character consistency across different art styles, handle complex editing commands through natural language, and do all of this while maintaining professional quality standards. What we're witnessing is a strategic shift in the AI image generation market. Google went viral with consumer appeal, but ByteDance is going for market dominance through professional utility. At $30 per 1,000 generations, the same price as the previous version despite massive improvements, they're making a serious play for enterprise adoption. Here's my take on all of this. SeaDream 4.0 represents the maturation of AI image generation from a fun social media tool to a serious professional platform. While Nano Banana will likely continue to dominate the consumer space with its viral appeal and ease of use, SeaDream 4.0 is positioning itself as the tool for people who need to create high-quality content consistently and at scale. The fact that it's topped the leaderboards isn't just about technical superiority. It's about understanding what professional creators actually need. Speed, consistency, professional quality, and integrated workflows. But here's what I want to know. What do you think about this shift? Are you more interested in the viral, accessible approach of Nano Banana? Or does the professional power of Sea Dream 4.0 excite you more? And for those of you using these tools professionally, have you had a chance to test Sea Dream 4.0 yet? I'm really curious to hear about your experiences. Drop your thoughts in the comments below. And if this breakdown was helpful, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe for more AI tech deep dives. The AI image generation space is moving incredibly fast, and there's always something new to explore. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.